as of right now, I got about 300 videos, something like that, a little over 300 videos on my, uh, on my channel. And I realized a couple days ago, I don't have a single video on reggae grooves. And my parents, I don't know if I told y'all this, but my parents are from Kingston, Jamaica. So reggae was a part of my childhood as much as food and water and cartoons. So you know what? Here's my wrist. Go ahead and slap it. I deserve it. But today, hopefully, I can make up for that. This video, I wanted to do this video just as sort of an introduction to, uh, to reggae grooves. And, uh, and today we're going to talk about how you can develop a great feel for reggae. So if you're just getting into playing reggae grooves, reggae music, stuff like that, if it's become a recent fascination and you want to learn how to play these grooves, there's just a couple of things that, um, that you need to know. The first and most important one is that reggae, as far as I'm concerned, is almost 100% feel. Reggae is a very sort of emotional and expressive type of music. And you can't fake it, man. So if you're going to do it, you got to dive in and make sure that you're doing it the right way. And the second thing that you need to know about playing reggae is that there's, there's pretty much three different types, three different main types of reggae grooves. There's the one drop. There's um, what's called steppers. And there's a third one that's called rockas or rockers. Um, but these are the three main types of reggae grooves and they each have a different type of feel. Now the one important tip to learning any groove from any region, regardless of what it is, is to first start with the rhythmic foundation of what that particular groove is. And that's the, that's the case here with these reggae grooves. So there are two main feels, there's a triplet feel and there's also like a straight, either straight eighth or straight sixteenth feel depending on what it is. So I'm going to give you one tip on how you can start applying the right feel to these grooves. And it's this. Now let me explain. Now I mentioned off the top that there were three different types of reggae grooves out there, but the ambassador, I would say, of all of them would be the one drop. That's the one identifying groove. Whenever you ask any drummer to play a reggae groove, that's what it's going to be. So the most common feel for the one drop is a swing feel. So we can actually use the jazz swing, not just for that, but for all of the other ones. And it depends on how 
you play the swing. So there's two different ways that you can apply this sort of rhythmic template to any one of your reggae grooves. So you can play it straight, just a straight spang-a-lang kind of thing. Or you can also straighten it out. All right. Now with each of those two, you can play them straight ahead like that. Or the second way is to invert it. So instead of playing like this, you can flip it and go one, two, three, four, uh. Now when you work with those rhythmic templates underneath your reggae grooves, it's gonna help to create the proper feel. Because the cool thing about the swing is that you can adjust the degree of swing, whether it's a light one, near straight, or whether it's a heavy sort of shuffle type of swing. Millions of different kinds of, uh, of reggae grooves out there, different variations, but the feel Again, it's either going to be straight or it's going to be swung to a degree. So when you start with that template, it really helps sort of um, create the, 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 that proper feel when you're playing those grooves. And it eliminates the guesswork. Now, reggae to me is much more of a feeling than anything technical. So I don't really like the idea of pigeonholing any kind of particular groove to say, this is a reggae groove. and these are the top 10 reggae grooves for you to learn and all that kind of stuff. Because, I mean, technically, you can apply rock grooves to playing reggae. It's the feel underneath it that creates what it is. So let's see how we can take this idea now and learn how to play the one drop. If you've never played the one drop rhythm before, the concept is real simple. All it is is a cross stick and a kick drum on beat three. So if we're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're just accenting the three with a cross stick and the kick drum. So the easiest way to learn this rhythm and get the correct feel underneath it, start just by playing a regular swing pattern on the ride. Dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang. And then take that right hand right over to the hats and continue to play the same thing. Ding, ding, da ding, ding, da ding, ding, da ding on the hats. And then from there, all you're gonna do is drop the cross stick and the kick on beat three. You'll nail that swing feel right off the bat. And then from there, you just have to practice getting it to feel good. Now just to clarify, man, I'm not saying that you need to make that swing pattern, that spang-a-lang, spang-a-lang part of the groove, unless of course it fits the vibe and everything feels good. But, um, but that's just one option. I mean, you can do that or 
you can just reference a little bit of that swing every once in a while. But the idea is to have that swing feel sort of down as your template when you're playing any types of these reggae grooves that involves a swing. And it just helps to create the movement and the, and the proper feel for that groove. Now let's take a look at a stepper's example and use this concept to, uh, to practice playing a stepper's groove. So it's the same thing, stepper's groove if, you, if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, again, real simple. But this time, we're actually going to be playing all the quarter notes on the bass drum to help sort of get that driving feel under it. And you can play actual backbeat or you can play cross stick, but the main thing with the stepper's groove is those four quarter notes on, uh, on the bass drum. This, of course, is merely an introduction to playing reggae grooves. The only way to get good at playing all of these different types of feels, different types of grooves, you got to immerse yourself into reggae music, man. Research, listen, and observe. Bob Marley, Steel Pulse, Black Uhuru, Gregory Isaacs. Go back. Go back to, like, the 80s, 
because those cats are the masters at playing these grooves. Research Carlton Barrett, research Sly Dunbar. Check these guys out. See if you can find videos on the on the, on the tube of these drummers, and um, and then just see what they're doing. And listen to as much reggae as you can because you're gonna hear tons of different ideas on hi hat patterns, you know, different types of feels with the kick drum, drum fills. That's a whole different area when playing reggae music. But um, but yeah, man, you gotta sort of create your own reggae university and just dive in. So this here is just, I mean, you can't unlearn this now that you've learned it. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this will eliminate um, just copying grooves off the surface and just taking sort of a carbon copy picture of it. Again, it's, it's much more important to get in underneath it. Start with the foundation and then work your way up. But that jazz swing, whether you're swinging it hard or whether you straighten it out, these will serve as a really good template that you can use or at least keep in mind when you go to, um, to learn or practice any other reggae groove from this point. So that's it, man. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching this video. Drop a comment below if you have anything to add to it. Don't forget to check out the merch shop, man. I got a whole bunch of really cool drummer t-shirts in there that you can check out. Go ahead, grab yourself a shirt and a hoodie. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next uh, video is coming out. Like, subscribe, share this video if you dig it. See you next video.